This is the second of a series of videos on hepatocellular cancer or liver cancer. Over here in the cartoon you can see that the liver resides on the right side just below the rib cage. It has important function in digestion, production of important proteins and excretion. Liver cirrhosis predisposes to development of cancer. You can see a normal liver becoming cirrhotic or fibrotic and finally cancer arising. It starts as a small nodule which gradually gets bigger and it may spread to other parts of the liver as well as outside of the liver. So now let's look into the symptoms that may arise. For the great majority of the patients, they do not have any symptoms and typically liver cancer is detected on scans. Only when the liver cancer progresses that the patient may get symptoms such as heaviness, weight loss, and when they eat, they get full very quickly. Symptoms may also arise due to the complications that may occur secondary to liver cancer. So let's draw a liver cancer over here in this picture. And if this causes a rupture and bleeding, and that causes sudden onset of abdominal pain, which may be accompanied by fainting. And this is not uncommon. Patients may also develop fever, which may be due to the breakdown of cancer cells in the center leading to necrosis. Sometimes jaundice may arise due to deterioration of liver function, but also the liver cancer compressing on the bile tubes in its vicinity, causing obstruction of bile and hence jaundice. Rarely there may be an abscess, which may or may not contain bacteria giving rise to fever. Lastly, symptoms may also arise due to the distant effects of the cancer itself. And there may be a number of presentations such as low glucose levels or high red cells or a high calcium level, diarrhea and sometimes skin changes. So in summary, early cancer does not cause any symptoms at all. It's only when the cancer progresses we may see symptoms. Finally, patients may also present with symptoms secondary to the distant spread of the cancer and those symptoms would depend upon the location. This concludes this brief video. In the next video, we shall explore the diagnosis of hepatocellular cancer.